All right. Today is a big day. I get to impact someone's life and I get to completely redo someone's setup entirely from scratch. Gotta make a nice snug fit so the PC doesn't move around in the back. Otherwise, this whole trip would be a waste. All right. It's also the biggest series I've ever started on the channel. There is so much that went into planning this that it took more than four months to complete. I think we got everything here. Let's, uh, let's go change someone's life, yeah? I think when I first announced the series on the channel and started accepting submissions, we got almost a thousand applications. We got over 900 applications in and we had to sift through every single one of them and pick one person that not only deserved a new setup, but also needed a new setup. The Cooler Master team narrowed it down to 10 finalists and from that 10, we all went through and we had to pick one person that stood out the most. And out of that 10, Philip's submission was the one that stood out. Hey TechSource, I just saw your video on uh, the setup makeover. So this is my video submission and applying. So what inspired you to apply for a makeover from TechSource and Cooler Master? Um, one of the reasons was I wanted to uh, get a new computer to be able to give mine away to my fiance. Um, it's not, she doesn't have a lot of money and uh, she needs a new laptop. So if I was able to give her mine, it would provide her with another um, avenue to do her schoolwork. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily deserve a makeover. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people who deserve it more than I do or, or more needy than I do. You know, one of the things that helps me de-stress from my week at work is uh, gaming and I, I really enjoy it and it helps me just um, cope with all the, some of the things that I have to see. I would also uh, be working on my degree towards criminal justice, um, trying to get a master's in that, so. That submission pretty much checked all the boxes we were looking for. Um, the first one is he has a purpose for the setup. He likes the game and he goes to school so he can use it for schoolwork as well. Uh, number two, he has a goal in life. He wants to get a master's in criminal justice. And number three, which is a very important quality, is giving back. He said he was able to give his MacBook to his fiance once he does get a brand new setup and he does have a brother and sister so he is going to allow them to use the setup for either gaming and schoolwork as well which we thought was really nice all right so the plan for today is to go over to his house set everything up in one day get his reaction maybe ask a few questions about the setup if he liked it what he didn't like about it wrap it up and then come home uh, right now, GPS is saying that it's going to be a little over two hours uh, to get there, which is pretty good, actually, because I think we got lucky on the first contestant, um, considering that it's only two hours away. I was just thinking, what if somebody else lives in a different state or lives like six or seven hours away? That would have been even more difficult. So this is the second time we're actually going to Philip's house. At the first time we went there, we told him we needed him for an interview because we were interviewing the last 10 contestants, which wasn't true, by the way. We only said that as an excuse to go over to his house and check it out, check out his setup and everything. Uh, and we actually recorded it that entire uh, day. Here's a quick uh, flashback. All right, guys, so after an hour drive, we finally made it to Philip's house, and apparently he lives in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> There's like nothing inside but a bunch of grasses and trees and his house is right there on the left side. He still doesn't know that we're here, so we're gonna go surprise him. Let's go check it out. The moment we've been waiting for. Hey, Ed. Hey, what's going on, dude? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Wow, you guys have a really Hello. nice house. Hello, Hi. Edgar. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. That's nine, nine, no jumping. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. How are you guys doing? We're good. Good, awesome. I'm sure he's, uh, he's told you about us a little bit. We're not some random strangers coming in here. <laughs> this is Brianna, his fiance. Hi, I heard about you. Nice to meet you, Edgar. That's my camera guy, Bob, and uh, cool master team right there. So how are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Finally, nice you're person. Meet you, you look, you look just, like the, just like how you are in the videos, man. <laughs> you haven't oh, cool. changed one, but that's good. That's oh, cool. cool. 
So awesome, dude. Um, I guess we're gonna do, uh, check out your setup first. Okay. Your room, if you okay. wanna show it us. Yeah. And then after that, we're gonna do like a quick little interview, ask you some questions and things like that. This is my room, you guys. This is it, yeah. So here's my setup. Awesome. Pretty simple. Um, you got the mouse here for gaming. It's got the nice built-in USB. Wireless mouse, cool, yeah. cool. I mean, as soon as he said that he was gaming on that MacBook, I think like a piece of my soul just disappeared from my body. <laughs> so awesome, cool. Yeah. So you got your MacBook there. Yes, sir. What, uh, what year is that MacBook? 2015. 2015, okay, nice. Cool, so yeah, man, this is your setup. Yes, sir. Rocking a laptop. Basic uh, wireless mouse. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Not much else to. The decorations. The decorations, oh, yeah. man. What's what's going on over there? Uh, yeah, you know, I got the the cards from the fiance and the, how to wash my gi and pictures and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Looks pretty organized. Yeah, and the drawers are. I'm guessing you have like a bunch of papers. Yeah, just you know, schoolwork and stuff in there. Cool. Like old stuff from college. And nice. When I went to actual school, now I just do the online stuff. Awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna be as honest as possible. That setup was shit. <laughs> I was trying to be as polite as possible in person, not to give him a hard time, but um, if Philip submitted that setup to Setup Wars, that would easily be a great contender for the worst setup edition, AKA the potato edition, hands down. Needless to say, he definitely needed a setup makeover. So the first time we went there, we actually created this fake interview where we were auditioning the last 10 contestants to basically choose the final one within that 10. Philip had no idea that he was in fact the chosen one. So we sat down, we asked him a bunch of questions, and then the final question was the big one. Uh, one final question. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel being the chosen one for the setup makeover? <laughs> That's the question. Really? I know you're a little shocked there. What? Right? <laughs> I'm totally surprised. I... There was no four other people. There you were. What? This no. Is yeah. I got chosen for something. What? Right? Have you ever won anything? No, you know? I've never won anything, oh, really? guys. <laughs> I never even came close. This is, this is a pretty crazy uh, prize to win as your first, as your first try. Dude. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Can I have a man. hug, man? Yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations, man. You deserve Thanks, it. Thanks, man. No worries, dude. That's You're pretty stoked, huh? What? Brand new setup, man, from scratch. Whoa. You give your laptop to your fiance, that upgrade you, new monitors, everything. Holy smokes, guys. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> no way. Is that, am I getting pranked here? I've or? never won anything, guys. I, I'm, I have the same luck as you, man. I don't win anything at all. No lottery tickets, no, no like those, those sweepstakes they do. Zero. I would bro. never gamble. No. Gambling. No. <laughs> no gambling, guys. You heard it from Philip right yeah. there, man. Don't do it. So again, dude, Caesars. congratulations. Thanks, man. The next step is to figure out um, what we're going to get you. Honestly, his excitement got all of us excited to see someone so genuine win a huge prize from TechSaurus. You know, I do a lot of giveaways on the channel and sadly there are people who just subscribe or like videos just to participate and win. They, they don't really care about the channel or supporting the channel and that's fine. I get it. You know, there, there's really no way to validate if someone is a loyal subscriber or a supporter of the channel. That's just the nature of doing giveaways on YouTube. That's why it felt really good to reward a loyal subscriber that's been watching my videos and supporting the channel for a long time. I love awarding loyal subscribers more than anyone else. People that like the video even before it starts, who drop comments, who just really support the channel. Those are the subscribers that I love doing these types of videos with. The only thing I'm concerned about right now is if everything goes according to plan. I have this vision in my mind of how the setup has to look like and I hope that comes to life when I put everything together. I'm just hoping that the final product matches what the design was or at least very close to it. That's that's the only issue. I'm just hoping that Philip really likes his setup. I would say the hardest thing about all of this is creating a setup that Philip would enjoy. Another thing I'm concerned about is um, leaving something behind. Obviously we're driving over two hours, so I made sure to double check every single component, but knowing me, I always forget something behind. So whether it's something really 
small or stupid, like a screwdriver or maybe even the monitor mount, RGB strips, whatever it is. What'd you expect? Of course, I forgot some stuff. For my interview with Philip, I've gathered some information on what type of setup he would enjoy. Uh, and so far, I know that he likes the colors white, blue, and purple. He's a huge Star Wars fan and he likes space for lots and lots of storage. And of course, a badass gaming PC because he loves to game. I mean, I don't know how he would game on a MacBook in the first place, but I know he likes to game. Uh, so needless to say, the possibilities are endless. So we got to work. I hit up David, who is the master of 3D printing, and he actually helped me out with the Wolverine setup a ton. And apparently he's great at 3D designs as well. So we decided to throw around some ideas. Originally, I wanted to start off with a dual monitor setup, but the symmetry just wasn't there, and the layout just looks weird to me. I mean, the position of the shelves for the speakers were in a terrible spot, and I just wasn't happy with the first draft. So I threw in an extra monitor. Now it was looking like a badass setup. But I thought to myself, this guy is coming from a MacBook. What the hell is he going to do with three monitors? Then I decided to add a nano leaf on the top of the setup to, you know, just add some spice and color to the setup. So David put together a few designs. And at this point, I'm like, what on earth am I doing? I feel like I'm creating another ultimate desk setup. I told myself I don't want this to be overkill. Um, obviously, I do want a nice upgrade for him. But at the same time, I want it to be sufficient. You know, I want him to utilize everything in the setup. So if I give him like three monitors and he's only using one, it's kind of a waste. And that's kind of the route that I was going with for this first setup. So with that in mind, I actually decided to go with a different route. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the first part of Setup Makeover. The finale will be on the channel next Saturday, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled. And if you're enjoying the series so far, tossing a like would be awesome. And if you guys don't like the series, please leave a dislike with your criticism in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.